Hi, I'm Chad Deal, head of the Center for Osteoporosis and Metabolic Bone Disease at the Cleveland Clinic. Our topic today is osteomalacia. It's not osteoporosis. This patient was a 55-year-old woman who had liver disease, primary biliary cirrhosis, and celiac disease. Her vitamin D level was less than 7, and she had secondary hyperparathyroidism with a PTH of 300 and an outfos of 350. Because her vitamin D was low, her calcium absorption was significantly reduced as illustrated by uh, urine calcium of excretion of 20 milligrams in 24 hours. The patient had severe bone pain. She had pseudofractures on x-ray called Lucer's lines or looser zones, and she had a proximal myopathy and a normal CK. She had a serial decline in bone density over the last 12 months, a low bone mass, and her diagnosis is not osteoporosis, it's osteomalacia, and she needs vitamin D, not anti-resorptive therapy. She was treated with 50,000 units of vitamin D daily for 14 days, then twice a week for three months. Her vitamin D level increased to 80, her PTH declined to 85, her outfoss declined, and her bone density increased 18%. This significant increase in bone mass is a result of mineralization of unmineralized osteoid in the skeleton. Her x-ray in the knees showed looser's lines, which represent pseudofractures. These areas of lucency are filled with unmineralized bone or osteoid. So the high dose regimes are required for patients like this with severe vitamin D deficiency, but are occasionally reported uh, adverse events mean that we should use this high dose regime in patients with severe deficiency and not the typical patient. The typical patient will require 1,000 to 2,000 units of vitamin D per day as uh, therapy for osteoporosis prevention. The two most common causes of vitamin D deficiency are related to the inability of the sun to produce vitamin D in the skin because of sunscreens or increasing skin pigment, which limit the ability to produce vitamin D in the skin. Aging also reduces the production of vitamin D in the skin. And of course, when you're in northern latitudes and in the winter, vitamin D production in the skin is reduced. A decreased bioavailability in cases of malabsorption and celiac disease where vitamin D absorption is severely limited and short bowel syndromes are also causes for significant vitamin D deficiency. Thank you for your attention.